tell me so much love and peace to go around so much love for the whole world on a beautiful day you're watching hello nigeria you're watching hello Hello Nigeria Sit back and relax Welcome back to Hello Nigeria Our second guest is in the studio with us He is a fashion designer, fashion enthusiast His name is David Owari Babatunde Thank you for joining us Thank you very much I'm glad Welcome to be on the show I actually like this thing you're wearing Did you make it? Yeah, I oh, do. Oh, really nice, really, really nice. Mm. Thank you very let's, much. Let's start your journey through fashion. I know you went to Uniben. What did you study in Uniben? Um, I studied microbiology. So microbiology, fashion, how? You know, in Nigeria and uh, <laughs> the educational system, you know, you just start to... Back then, I was going into the university. I was like, okay, what course can I study? Because my idea while I was growing up, while I was in primary school, I was like a science student, you know, science thing in that time. If you're not a science student, you don't know anything, you know. So I was like, okay, I was good. But going into the secondary school, I now realized that, okay, it's a little bit different. You know, I was not like, okay, eh, we still went into science. We still came out. Now, that was when I now discovered that I could do a lot of things. I had passions in a lot of stuff, like um, dancing, like uh, because I, I do dance professionally. You know, like dancing, like uh, being creative. The first time I know I was, I, I was, I wanted to go into fashion was when something happened in my class, and I was like, okay. Uh, there was this question the teacher asked, and the student came, um, raised up his hand, and said something else. And I'm like, wow. The next week, I just had to create what that student said. I created it on a shirt, oh. and then I started selling it. And also, the people were interested. They were not like, oh, that is what happened. That's what happened. We were, we not tagged the guy that said that um, word like um, um, what I wrote on the shirt. So that was when the whole idea of the fashion thing started. I now started developing interest in becoming fashion designer. I started um, doing some designs, creating so many you know, ideas and all, and I started producing it on shirt, like all the pop culture and the contemporary we wear today. Anything I just see or any um, slang that made sense, we just write it like um, our formal, uh, um, first lady, she mm -hmm. usually give us punchlines then. <laughs> so we just, you know, put it on the shirt, we just start selling. Ah, my hand is you know? not there. You <laughs> see more you to carry, not you. I didn't do that. It's, it's just um, all about being creative True. and being um, able to, you know, manage the situation in your environment. Anything you see, because any act, even though you want to fall, is a style. In mm. football, if in, in dance, if if you want to fall, people think you want to fall, but it's a it's a dance. We just turn it into dance style, and you know, so that is how it comes about when it comes to fashion. We just tend to you know, be be creative and make sure that we know how to combine our colors, how to um, you know be good and know what we want to wear to match all our outfits. Mm. You know, some people actually don't know how to dress. Mm. For instance, I was I was driving with my friend. We were going somewhere. And on a bike, I saw a girl, the way she was dressing, I was like, I was forced to tell my guy to, you know, Oga, near that bike man, I want to talk to this girl. I was like, madam, please, what are you wearing? Uh, we're driving. I was like, because it doesn't make sense. Why? Some people don't actually know that there's a thin line between you um, looking stupid and looking sexy. Don't you think that this thing has been blurred? Like the mm. thin line between looking sane and looking fashionable. Don't you think it has been blood? We're still seeing that fashion has broken the rules. Back in the day, would you ever think that you'd wear maybe red and orange or red and yellow and it would make sense? But these days, people combine colors and it looks like it makes sense. So people are breaking all the fashion rules with stylists like the style infidel that, who was on the show a while ago that make you wear a long skirt and wear socks, you know, and just push you out of your comfort zone. Don't you think that these days, fashion is more about comfort than it is about the rules? Um... Looking at um, when you are saying fashion, a lot more about comfort. No, it's more about comfort, but also we still need to um, not um, go down on the rules because the rules are what guide us to um, be good. Because you cannot just go, okay, for instance, you are going to a wedding and you are wearing something else. A, a, an outfit you are meant to use for a traditional wedding, you are using it for a white wedding. Mm. So, you know, it does not tally. 
you need to be able to um, know the occasion, know the culture around there. That is what brings about the creativity of the designer. I want to design uh, an outfit for um, an ethnic uh, person, mm -hmm. and I will not be designing, I will not be giving him an Igbo outfit. It does not correlate. So the rules guide us to be sane and to know, okay, these are what we need to do. These are what we need to wear to a, for instance, I cannot wear a pump to a club. The bouncer will even bounce you out. Okay. You know, you cannot wear some certain outfits to some certain place. So it depends on the, um, the host. That's why if you notice that these days, all our events are being, the, are being tagged dress code. Okay. So that to, for, for it to guide everyone that, okay, this is what I want you guys to wear because the host had already pictured the event in his mind, in his head. He had already played all the events, so he knows how everything will look like. Now you now come in, okay, for instance, we are having a gala. A gala now, and you now come, everybody's wearing suits and the ball gown and all. You now come with uh, a native attire, and you're not saying you want to look different. People will first look at you that, bros, are you all right? As in, <laughs> do you know where you're coming from or you miss road? You know, that kind of thing. Mm. So that is why these rules are there to guide us to, so that we would not fall short, we will not go out of line. Because when the rules are not there, we will go out of line. Okay, so what's, what, what happens in the place of preference? Now, preference of the individual in question, their personality, and also, um, I've, I've, seen, I've seen when, um, I think it was Rihanna wearing sneakers and a ball dress. I would to totally a, do that. To a setting, and she wore two different colors of sneakers. Um, with, hold on. It still turned out cool, by the way, if you see the picture. And also, I remember the Twilight Saga um, female star. I'm trying um, to remember yeah, her name. Yeah, I'm trying to remember her name as well. Hold she on, did the same thing. She doesn't like heels. So she wore this beautiful... I think she's even the one that popularized yes. sneakers on dress. And she, she, she always just likes sneakers. She doesn't like the heels. So she's like, okay, let me follow the rule of the game by putting on the ball dresses or the long dresses. But you know what? I still want to wear my flats and I still want to wear my sneakers. What happens to the person personality? And you also mentioned somebody wearing native to a gala night. So what if the person is showing culture? After all, what we call gala dressing today is some other person's culture. culture yes. So why can't you dress as you to a place and represent your own culture? It's not that we, I cannot dress as me to a place and represent my culture, but what if the events have been dress coded? Like, okay, this is what I want you guys to wear. At least you follow that rule. Not you now going out of your way to say, okay, because I want to represent my culture, I want to show my bini outfit and all, and I just wear it to the place or with the old rapper and all the things. You now stand out and people will be looking at you that, are we doing Halloween or are we, you know, they'll be <laughs> trying to wonder that what is happening here. So basically at the end of the day, before you dress up, uh, find out if there's a dress code. And Kristen Stewart is her name. Yes. 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 If you're trying to find out, find out the dress code and try to abide by it. In a yeah. few seconds, what would you say your top two fashion tips would be? So before anybody, you know, wants to head out, they're going for an event, they're going for a ceremony, what are the top two tips you give them to help them look fashionable? The first one I would say would be that find out if there's a dress code. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what you've been explaining so far. So yeah, so give us two other tips. Well, the, one, um, the one that is very important is your cloth, um, your, your dress needs to fit. Your dress should fit you because if it does not, it will just be like you wearing a very big shirt and you're feeling oh, you're feeling all pop Like you used to do back in the day. Back in the day, <laughs> that we wear big trousers, big shirts, and we're like, okay, I'm good to go, I'm good to go. Make sure your shirt fits you. Mm. If it does not, because I always say it's not how expensive it is. Back when I was growing up, I used to combine like from my head to my toe. Everything that costs is not up to five k. But when I come out, you think I am wearing something about 100K. It's not about what it's you're wearing, about it's about what how you're wearing. You wear it's it. about how you wear it, how you combine your color. So make sure your shirt or your dress fits you and make sure that um, you um, get feedbacks. Okay. It is really important because when you look nice, when if you, people don't compliment you, you should check yourself, oh, am I, am I dressing nice? Because when I, before I go out while I was growing up, I have a friend. If... She, if he tells me that, Oga, what you're wearing is not good, even though I love it, because there are sometimes you wear an outfit and you would love it, you, you feel like, ah, I'm good, ah, this outfit is nice. But when someone tells you that, Oga, it's not nice at all, you know, when he just says that, no matter what, I'll just go and pull it. Ah, uh, me and you, that means you are very opposite. Me, I, you tell me it's not nice. 
if I look in the mirror, do I like what I see? That's all that matters. I don't really care about all those rules. In fact, I'm one of the people that will most likely wear sneakers on my wedding day. I don't know yet to <laughs> let that time come, but I will wear sneakers in peace. Shout out to Christine Stewart and all yeah. the other sisters that have made sneakers so fashionable for us. No, I will me, not I sacrifice. Would, I would even like my wife to wear sneakers because I want her to dance. Uh -huh. me, I don't want oh, heels really? that you will not be able to dance. No, because that day is our day. Let us dance. Let's like, let her wear it we to want church. to dance. Would you let her wear it to church? <laughs> I will let her wear no, it's to not if you let her. If she wants to, we'll, we'll as far as it goes. No, it's not you, you don't have the right to decide what she will wear on your wedding day. You will wear what you want to wear. She will wear what she wants to wear. But it has been such a delight to have you. Thank you. You do very look much. good. Thank you so much for joining us. How Thank can you. people follow you on social media? Uh, you can follow me on social media at Davis Couture. Davis Couture. Yeah. That is the handle to follow on social media. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.